Hello and welcome to another video. Um, in this one we are going to actually be doing a little bit of crafting and I'm going to be trying to make a book nook which is essentially just a little secret hidden world that slots onto the bookshelf. Um, people do them all sorts of ways. I've seen like Hogwarts castles, libraries, uh, greenhouses um, and I'm just going to go for the classic fairy forest. So I'm thinking little mushrooms, uh, moss, fairy door, that sort of thing. And I did have the absolute perfect box for this uh, and it's completely vanished. I've had it in the house for weeks waiting for this video and it has literally vanished, vanished off the face of the earth. So this is what I'm working with now. It's definitely not as good. It's a little bit skew with. Um, so I'm just going to try my best to make some kind of shape out of this. I feel like the shape of this is important but the inside is going to be more important because it's going to be between shelves anyway so i'm thinking of it like this way um and then having like another side here and cutting this panel out so that's my current thought um so i'm going to give that a go um and i'm not one of these like really neat crafters where everything's perfect and rulers and like you know five step plan and stuff i just like to kind of go for it and just see what happens on the way so first things first, um, I'm just going to have a little doodle and sort of establish the vibe of what we want the book nook to look like. So this is the very loose vibe. I'm thinking of just keeping it quite simple. So I would like to somehow attach twigs to the edges so it looks like a little bit better than just cardboard. Um, so I'll try and figure out a way to do that. Um, little sort of steps leading up to the fairy door, little mushrooms, obviously the door itself. Um, I did collect some like random twigs and, and that kind of thing. So maybe some like trees, moss, that sort of situation. So. Let's give it a go and just see how we get on. So as I was saying, it's not going to be the prettiest or the neatest, but obviously it's going to be all painted and covered and stuff. This is the current situation, so I've just cut a little flap so that I can decorate it more easily um, and then I'll stick it together at the end. Obviously it's not the prettiest thing ever around the sides, but no problem. And yeah, this is kind of where we're at the moment. So now what I need to do is, um, I think I'm going to colour it all and then work on the little bits of decoration so I need to put like the floor in um, and just work on the walls and things like that so um, I think that's what I'm going to do first and I might actually spray it just so it's all covered and um, the only spray I've got is like this dark grey but I think that's fine and um, then it'll just be easier to kind of build up from that especially like all around here it just needs like a good coating and colour so let's do that now.
that was a long break because while I was waiting for that to dry I was like oh I'll just tidy up a couple of plant pots and then before I knew it I'd ended up tidying up the whole garden for like hours anyway so this is where it is at um obviously it's not like 100% covered but that's fine I just wanted kind of like a, a base um so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna put in um the little path leading up to the door and I'm not really worried about this because I've got this um like moss type stuff that I can put on I cut out some little like um cobbles out of um foam and then i've got some fake moss as well so i can like build up that forest floor excuse the dirty fingernails i'm so sorry it's from the garden and i was just doing i did try to scrub my hands but um yeah that one escaped um so yeah i'm just gonna do that first i think and then see how we're getting on Okay, this is where we're at at the moment so um i put the i ended up putting the grass on all of the walls um just so it looked a bit more foresty and then i did put a little bit of paint with a sponge just to make it a bit darker because it was quite like luminous green um the the floors in um and then where the fairy door is gonna go and then i started putting these branches in just to make it look like yeah like a little forest in there so i think because the foam is black um i can't really just paint over it with acrylic in like light or brighter colors so i'm gonna make the fairy door on a piece of cardboard then stick that onto the foam there um and then i think i'm just gonna kind of like see see what's what um i've got like various dried flowers and leaves some fake moss and that kind of thing so i think i'll just put like a few more twigs in then just kind of like go to town and all those other bits and I'm trying to decide how to make the mushrooms because um, I think making them out of clay is going to just be too fiddly um, so I was thinking of just using like little bits of twigs and then making like a little hat for them I just haven't figured out the hat part yet so yeah that's what I'm thinking at the moment but this is the vibe so far hopefully you can actually see in there and yeah this is the, the little nook
Okay, this is the current look. Um, so I've just covered it in this moss and I've got the little door in there. And then I was just figuring out how to make mushrooms. So I've got these little twigs and I've basically just cut um, the foam. Oh, one sec, I'll get it to focus. Um, yeah, I just cut the foam. It's not perfect, but it looks kind of mushroomy. So I'm hoping that a bit of color will go onto it. It's quite hard to cover this foam, but I'll give it a go. Um, and then yeah, just sort of like dot them around here and then I think I'll pretty much be finished. So I think I'm done. Um, this is it when it's closed like it will be on the shelf. So I've got the um, little toadstools in there now. Um, I just basically chopped some foam and uh, made them with little twigs. Um, the door obviously and then little trees and moss. Um, I put some um, like dried leaves in there as well. So yeah, this is the vibe. Um, I also just glued some oh, hot glue. It's just, just strings everywhere. Um, I put some twigs around the edge of here just so it wasn't purely cardboard. Um, so I think now I'm just gonna go and put it on the shelf and see how it looks.